What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Hunter Black in the building! Yeah, hell yeah! Woo woo woo! Alright, what up, everybody? If uh, if people may not be aware of who you are, sir, please introduce yourself. Let me know where about whereabouts in the world you are at the moment, and plug and promote anything and everything. So uh, my name is Hunter Black. I am a TikTok creator. Uh, started doing it during lockdown because I couldn't go to shows anymore, so I got bored as shit. Started screaming on the chair right behind me over there, and then the rest, for some reason, started taking off. Um, I've been doing solo music since about 2019. Uh, with the project up there right now, Hunter Black on uh, Spotify and everything like that. I've got two singles, one called Nightcrawler and Self-Hatred. Working on a third, just struggling with writing the lyrics for it, but that should be out sometime this year, hopefully. Um, done a few collabs, obviously the most recent with the great boy right down there, Sean, in uh, Soul Killer with Devil. Great yes, song, had a great time with that one. Super great video shoot. Uh, but yeah, my socials are all Hunter Black official. If you want to check me out there, I post covers and random stuff all the time. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. You don't recognize that the Chipmunk song is considered a single already. It is. Uh, <laughs> that was with my that was with my friends in Empty Graves. Uh, I did a few songs with them. For some reason, that one Spotify put under me too, even though it's all listed the same. I don't know. That's cool. How, lo how long have you been? How long have you been uh, making music for in general? And then simultaneous question: Who made you want to just pick up a microphone and just start playing with your voice back in the day? So I've been making music uh, in general since like my sophomore year of high school. So that would have been shit over there, man. Like 2013, I believe. Uh, I had an old solo project where the name Hunter Black came from called Broken and Black. Totally ripped off Motionless and White. Not ashamed to admit it back then. Um, but I had a metalcore thing where I wrote that all in my, uh, wrote it all by myself, pulled that off of uh, Spotify once I just started uh, to get a little bit more serious with it. And as for who really got me into it, I have to say Garrett from The Color Morale. I saw those guys in Chicago back in 2013 with We Came as Romans and met him afterwards. And meeting him kind of set me on a journey to really want to dive deep into the whole music thing here. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. How do you know? How do you know Sean? So I actually bumped into Sean. Uh, it was at was with their old drummer at the time uh, at a different show. Uh, victims? Met him Wait, real was it quick. Victims? Yeah, I think it was Victims. Yeah. So I remember, yeah, Dead Awake was playing. So I remember I saw you handing off a beer to, to Dylan and that whole picture that Mike took and everything started going around after that. Um, <laughs> we, Sean lives we in Chicago now. Yeah. <laughs> <them. laughs> But yeah, we briefly met around then. Uh, we followed each other on uh, on the socials, slowly interacted, and then Devil became a thing, and we became really great friends, and I'm super thankful for it. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, I got one more, and then I'm going to let Sean ask a couple. Uh, I, I always ask vocalists how they prepare their voice. Do you have any unusual techniques that you do before it's time, let, let's say someone wants a big, t like a big time artist wants you on a song. How do you prepare your voice before you hit record? And what do you do to uh, calm it down after you've gone all in recording just to be prepared for the next day? So for me, I really don't have anything like unique or crazy. I pretty much just um, look up five minute vocal tutorial, not tutorial, warm up on YouTube. Uh, it's gonna have like a purple <laughs> background. And I just go through that like uh, one or two times. So I feel kind of loosened up, ready to go. And then I uh, hop right into it because I tend to try not to overthink it so I can really let the vocals kind of speak for themselves without getting in my own head too much when I record. Cool. Uh, Sean, take it away with a couple. OK, uh, off the rip. Um, you know, I've seen you at, at a bunch of shows uh, since moving to Chicago. Um, I didn't get to experience you prior to that so like what is 
Who is your favorite uh, experience as far as um, like featuring in a set, like jumping up on stage? Like who who's like the most memorable uh, on stage feature you've done? Honestly, it would have it, for me. It would be the really great guys over in Dead Awake. They were the first band to pull me up, and that that was always kind of like stuck in my head. I think there's a video still somewhere on fa- on my Facebook of it. It was like really young Dylan, really young me. They had just dropped their first record playing somewhere around uh, around the Chicagoland area. And I think Dylan had followed me back because I had been at one of their shows previous to that. And I just took my shot and was like, yo, can I do Pale Horse with you guys? And he was like, yeah, come up and do it. And I remember being scared like shitless because I went up <laughs> there and grabbed the mic and was just pretty much going, don't forget the words. Don't forget the words. And uh, no, that that was definitely the most impactful for me because that was the first time I really felt kind of like embedded in this local scene as a vocalist, not just a booking guy, because I was a booking guy for about four years uh, while doing music. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, One thing I was thinking of hitting you up today, and I'm sorry I didn't. uh, We got slammed yesterday with a storm and I saw it was like smashing Naperville, like everything good there. For the most part, yeah, we have another round coming in like two hours, so that's fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> can't catch a damn break. Uh, but it's pretty good. Yeah, a lot of rain, nothing like super bad to report. Apparently we had like an earthquake or something last night, I guess. I don't know. You didn't feel it? I think I took some melatonin when I went to bed because I was just like, <laughs> I'm going to knock myself out. I got to get some sleep today. So I think I just slept <laughs> through everything. Dude, BG, if you saw the lightning that was in Chicago last night, it looked like a fucking show. It was, like, it strobing, did. like, Dang. everywhere. And when I saw Naperville, I was like, oh, fuck, dude. We, we got to hit up Hunter and make sure we don't have to rescue him tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're all good here. We almost we almost ended up having to make an arc and float away, but we were good for the most part. Yeah, Hunter, dude. did you did you come prepared with the with the brewski, sir, for the trivia yeah, I portion? Got a, I got a brewski, right? I got a brewski right Excellent. here, a little little screen off ice. Excellent. What uh, the <laughs> trivia? You get to pick the trivia topic. That's the cool part. So the, you have the advantage. Is there a movie or TV show that you've seen so many times? If I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, there's no way I stump you because you've seen it so many times. Regardless of whether you get it right or wrong. I'm gonna do some hot sauce. I don't know if Sean's in, but we're gonna. I'm gonna chug some hot sauce. But if I if I do not stump you, I'll chug a lot more than than if I was able to stump you. I'm gonna stick with the homie tonight. I'm gonna sip the beer. Heard. <laughs> I'm tired of those next days with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you get used to it after a while. You build a tolerance, but uh. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what you thinking, Hunter? Uh, that's a good question. Um. I probably have to say like the OG Halloween, 1978 Halloween. That's original, the, one I feel the, car- the original Carpenter one. I got her. I got him tattooed on my arm right there. Oh, that is awesome. I got tattooed my arm. I have. I have a lot of. Uh, I have a lot of Halloween. Came out. <laughs> I have a lot of Halloween or not Halloween, but like horror movie autographs, and I have the Rob Zombie, Michael Myers autograph, but not not the OG original homie. I do not know his name off the top of my head, but uh, uh, while I'm looking up trivia for it, uh, Sean, if you could ask one more question and I'll be ready, and then I'm gonna, I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna stump you. So while uh, you're enjoying your beverage, I'm gonna uh, ask you some more, some TikTok questions. All right, right. I, I think I got, I think I got a question that's gonna really stump you. Who's your favorite Chicago band? Oh, that is such <laughs> a hard one. <laughs> Answer wisely, like this- sir. Because <laughs> like the scene around here is such a family, like yeah, it's, for it's sure. hard to pick any above anyone else. Like obviously, I love you guys to death because I've gotten so close with you guys over these past few months, and I'm really thankful for that. Um, I don't know, that's a really hard one, just purely because of like the impact they've had on me over the years and um, some of the shows I've been able to scream with them at. I'd probably say Victims. Uh, just because over the years they were a band I kind of looked up to Great back when I was first really getting going in here. and I remember the first time John pulled me up on stage to scream with him. I was kind of having a how did I get here moment. And uh, so I'd probably say them just purely because of 
them being kind of like OGs in the modern scene and the impact they've had on me. Yeah, dude, it's wild, man. Coming from like the East Coast, and I feel like when I look around at a lot of like the localish scenes in, in the US, it's kind of like scorched earth. It's like bands are all battling against each other. And for whatever fucking reason, in the Midwest, Chicago, you know, Madison, Milwaukee, we're, we're all a team. It's like hard to explain. Like cool. every band is homies. We don't have like those bands that are like too cool or like just battling. You know, there's no fighting. You know, it's pretty civil here. I love it. I know what you mean. When and you say honestly, that. if we have bands that get like that, we kind of squeeze them out anyway, so they don't last too long. So <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 we got to wait. It's time for the trivia portion. And you got to pick the topic, and you chose the original Halloween. Now, before I ask this question, have you are you aware that there are multiple versions of the original Halloween? There's an extended version that has a court scene. Yeah, that one I actually haven't seen. I've heard of it. I haven't found a place to stream it yet, so I have I haven't been able to watch that one. Okay, that you will change up. my that will change my trivia question to something else. But here we go. In the movie, the original Halloween. What is written on the matchbook that belongs to Marion? Oh, I'm going to have to take a drink. I can picture it in my head, but I can't think of the name on it. It's shown in two scenes, and your hint is an animal in... And then there's a color. So, blank space in blank space. Animal in color. That's the hint I'm going to give you. For some reason, my brain's going to lion in red. You are so close, but that's a stump. Mm. <laughs> it is rabbit in red. Rabbit oh, in I red. It all. Enjoy, red en wise, enjoy yeah. your beverage. I got the red part of it. <laughs> Sean, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Hunter, Hunter, please tell me the moment that uh, everything changed for you regarding taking TikTok as seriously as you do. Was there, was there a particular video that? I know you said it was during COVID and then simultaneously, what do most people that do that know nothing about TikTok, what are they doing wrong? Two part question. Uh, so the video that really got me going on it, I can remember was uh, something on there. It's a trend that I still do a lot called popcorn karaoke, popcorn duet, where someone sings one line, you do the next, you do the next line, that kind of thing. Um, I remember I was scrolling one day and I saw someone like just yelling it, not screaming it, but yelling it. I was like, I should try screaming that because I think that might be funny and might get people in the metal possibly. So we'll see what happens. Um, that one was uh, I Want It That Way, that song. Okay, Backstreet um, Boys. Oh, yeah. I ended up screaming it. And I think that video ended up breaking like 1.2 million views, um, 200,000 likes. And that was the first one that really went off where it kind of went, shit, I didn't know there was that many people who would be into metal-related comedy on this app. I thought it was mostly going to be, like, dancing and the other stuff that was going on. Okay. Um, so from that point on, I really started, that was the first one that took place on my little beige chair thing back there. And from that point on, I pretty much went, like, one a week and kept trying to keep the momentum rolling. But only one a week? Only are, one a week? That's something I was about to say I did wrong. So TikTok is a really weird beast uh, where you have to keep the momentum rolling. Uh, some platforms, they prefer like slower posting, and then some they're going to prefer that rapid style. TikTok is a rapid style poster where if you have one video go off, it is in your best interest to post not like over too much, but I'd say minimum like a post a day until that momentum kind of slows down a bit, and then you try to find your next idea that'll take off. Is there um, is there a particular... I feel like, see, as someone that is on TikTok all the time, but I still don't even know what I'm doing, is there, is, what are we doing wrong when it comes to hashtags? Like, let's say, see, let's, honestly, let's say I have a, a video that's just called, I'm checking out this band from Chicago, they're awesome. Hashtag, hashtag, what do, what do I, what is the proper way to go about hashtag posting? That's something I'm kind of trying to refigure out myself because the platform has been changing a lot over the past few months. Um, they've been prior prioritizing uh, 
more long form content rather than short form. And as for hashtags, I've actually had videos do better that have none, like at all. Really? Um, yeah, because I think for some reason the algorithm will pick it up as like spam if you put too many on it, and it will not show it to as many people. Uh, that's something I've been kind of testing in recent days. Um, I just recently did a really uh, stupid cover with my friend Screamy Mimi, the current vocalist of Bro Job and End of an Era, of, um, of a Chapel Roan song called Hot To Go. Uh, him and I screamed that, and I put, like, I think two or three hashtags on it, and that's my best performing video in the past probably month now, I'd say. Just two or three, interesting. Uh, I got one more one more uh, trivia for you, and then I'm going to let Sean rattle off a couple more questions. And uh, I feel like this is another tough one, so be ready. All right. When Loomis stops to use the payphone, in the background, there's a truck. Can you tell me the name of the garage the truck is from? It's written on the truck. I definitely do not know that one. That one stumped me for sure. I remember, I think it was a red truck, but I don't remember the name on the truck. Phelps Garage. <clears throat> Enjoy the brewski. I'm proud to say I stumped you twice on the trivia that you selected, sir. Sean, you're up for the couple for a couple more questions. Uh, what is your all-time favorite TV show? Oh, uh, that's a tough one, because I kind of bounce around a lot. Um... In terms of strictly what I kind of go back to and watch a lot, I'd probably say Dexter, honestly. Um, New Dexter like prequel show, coming out soon, right? I'm, ex I'm excited about that, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a whole new cast, too, so it's going to be interesting to see how they do that. Mm -hmm. But I like Dexter because you can kind of go at it season by season without having to watch it chronolog chronologically. Uh, and just they're each their own kind of movie in a sense. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> yep, that's where that classic <laughs> meme came from. <laughs> this is true. Hard eyes, motherfucker. Hunter, how would you prefer... Surprise, motherfucker. How do you prefer someone go about contacting you uh, regarding they want you on a song? And I don't, I don't know if you're open to this, but what are, what are your rates? Uh, so in terms of contacting me for a song, um, I've had people DM me on Facebook, on Instagram. Uh, those are my two main ones. I do have a business email that is linked within my Instagram. It's just hunterblackofficial at gmail.com. Um, my rates usually depend on whether I'm writing the part or not, but I usually do 125 to 150, and that'll come with like a fully produced, ready to mix, just throw it in there, good to go stem, and... Uh, everything on that along with promotion leading up to and after the release itself cool His uh, timing is impeccable too i think i think when i sent you the track i got your stuff same day <laughs> you <laughs> did. Sure i was stoked day. on that one i downloaded <laughs> it and then i sat up in my studio room where i'm at right now for like an hour and a half listening to it. i was like okay i got it all right i got an idea and i just kept tracking it until i got something i was happy with He's quick. Done. He's quick with it. Almost, almost same day. We'll we'll call it seventy-two hour turnaround. Usually, that's a fair way. Yeah, I would say that. That's still unheard of from anybody, and you know this, VG. Yeah, that's, that's pretty damn fast for sure, for sure. Hunter, well, what what do you got going on? I'm gonna ask one final question, then I know Sean has a couple more. But what is what is uh something that we can look forward to you or from you from the rest of 2024? What are you allowed to tell us about that can get us excited? Well, I've got some more vocal features coming out. I'm not entirely sure when. I know there's one in August. I can't say with who yet. But what I will say is it's the most like brutal uh, like feature I've ever done. It was for like a awesome. symphonic deathcore type thing. So he had me channel like a lot more notes than I usually would get. So it's a, it was a little bit more heavy than what I usually do. So I'm excited about that one. Uh, and the other one is actually also coming out in August is a... Uh, local band from the area that I'm pretty stoked on. Cool. Oh. Mental cruelty is my guess. Sean, what's your final questions? Um, I really, I think I have one. Uh, so, what is like the one moment since you've joined like the music scene that like rings true to you? Whether it's like 
someone that you met because of the music you you started creating that you've impacted them or you know something like that like what is the one memory you look back on and you're like man that that that's that's gonna stick with me until you know my later days so honestly the thing that has stuck with me the most was pretty recent um I have some friends uh, in a band called Dems Fighting Words, and they needed a sub and vocalist very last minute for a show in South Carolina. Uh, they hit me up a week beforehand, asking if I could do it. I got the time off of work. We road tripped from here, 16 hour drive out to South Carolina, uh, did the show, yeah. and I had two or three people come up to me out in the middle of nowhere, South Carolina, recognizing me from my TikTok, saying that they watch it with their kids and that their kids got into metal because of watching their stuff with me. And that just kind of that struck a chord with me that really kind of had me on a fun cloud for the rest of that trip <laughs> that like somehow me screaming on that chair has impacted a possible next generation of music listeners like that. That is super cool, dude. That is awesome. I do have one more actually, cause I'm curious. Um, and I don't even know if you have an answer for this, but, uh, we did a hot ones challenge with you. Uh, mm-hmm. and, uh, it was kind of like off the rip. I wonder, is there a moment from that whole thing that you remember and you're like, this is fucking hilarious. And like, you it, it, you like, hate hot sauce. You told me before we got on today that you hate hot sauce. So I imagine that was not your most fun memory of all time. <laughs> well, he didn't He didn't have to fucking do anything. He oh, he didn't have to do the hot sauce. Okay, okay. I was the <laughs> question asker. <laughs> the mediator. Uh, honestly, the... The memory that I have most is when you got up and ran away. Like, I think it was like the second to last hot sauce. And you just went, no. And then you just. <laughs> <laughs> that one, or when you were watching uh, the football game on your phone, you just yell, we scored! <laughs> 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 Good times, dude. I'm, I'm so glad uh, that uh, you're a part of my life now, man. For real. For real. That's the same. It's, it's, I'm really thankful for this friendship. And is everything. that a Ryan Blaney hat? Yes, it is. Is NASCAR your favorite sport? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm actually sponsoring a car for two races starting uh, this next weekend. In what? In Michigan. what? You're sponsoring a NASCAR race? Yeah, I had it at Chicago, and then they liked it so much that we extended it to two more races. So I have it. I'm going to have the Hunter Black logo on a car at Indianapolis and one on the car at uh, Michigan. What the f- that is amazing. How did my man's a fucking G? I mean, that for real. This is a real one right there. Let's go. Yay, yay, yay. How, how does somebody even? I guess my last question was going to be something else, but how how does someone go about that? Like, let's say a local band sees this interview and they're like, "Damn, Hunter's doing the damn thing." How do how do I do that? Praise Dale. Genuinely, just comment and shoot your shot. That's how I did it. I'm friends with one of the managers on that team, uh, Nate, the former guitarist of I Set My Friends on Fire. He now manages NASCAR drivers. And him and I had like a decent friendship before that, and he got me into Chicago last year. We kind of made that friendship stronger. And this year, I commented on the team's TikTok, just totally shooting my shot, going, man, I'd love to get my logo on that car, totally not even thinking anything of it. And they ended up DMing me, giving me the number to the to the team guy there, and we got some going on there. That um, is amazing. Yeah, shout out SS Greenlight Racing. Those guys are the real ones. It's going to be on the 07 car for those two races, too. So keep an eye out for that car in the Xfinity Series. Bro, you got your name on the side of a fucking NASCAR. I'm, no, no, I got, I'm getting some pictures with it and everything. It's going to be wild. Let's go number right. 12. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hunter, uh, send us out one more time with uh, anything you want to promote. And uh, God bless you for showing up today. I really appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Hey, thank you for having me. Uh, if you guys want to check out my music, it's Hunter Black on all streaming services. Uh, I got two singles out. Be sure to also check out Devil by Soul Killer with me on it as well. It's a great track. Had a great time with that. And watch the music video if you're re- if you're willing to handle the creepy spookiness of it. It <laughs> does get a little spooky in there. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, my socials are all at Hunter Black Official. Feel free to follow me on there. And thank you again for having me on here. I had a great time. It's awesome, dude. I, I, thank you so much. I'll, I'll edit this tonight. Usually the interviews drop tomorrow morning, so I'll make sure to get both you guys the the link for that. 
Thank you again, Hunter. And if you, and guys, if you're watching and you're already not following him on TikTok and on Spotify, please do yourself a favor and, and go hit the follow button. Great content on, on both. And we look forward to that special single coming in August. I told you my guess of who it is. I'm probably not right, but I'm excited about that one. This is a pleasure, brother. Thank you so much. No problem. Ladies and gentlemen, Hunter Black! Yeah, hell yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Let's go! Peace out, yo. Cheers, homie.